Bingo Bongo, it's time to tango. Before I say what the offspring of the Amo Trinity is, I will explain how they were able to create it in the first place. Now, let's first begin with where each band takes place. The father, being Fallout Boy. The son, being Panic. At the disco. And the Holy Spirit, being My Chemical Romance. To briefly explain this, Pete Wentz from Fallout Boy started an independent label called DCD2 Records, formerly known as Duck Dance Records. And because of this the first band that Pete signed was Panic. At the disco, making Fallout Boy the father and Panic. The son, and since MCR isn't together anymore, rip fandom, they're the Holy Spirit or Ghost. So, to explain how they birthed their child. First, what did each band have? Well, as far as we know, each band has a major ship within their own band, meaning Rip Pateki. Those ships are, Pete Eric, Freerard, and Raiden. What do all these ships have in common? They all have the lead singer in each of them. The lead singers must be some sort of slut. Patrick Stump is a fedora slut, Gerard Way is a jacket slut, and Brendan Urie is a slut. Now, this might only be because the lead is always the frontman, but no. It's because they were preparing for something. Something abnormal, maybe? And what about Pete Wentz, Frank Iero, and Ryan Ross? Well, what do they have in common? They're the hot ones. Don't get me wrong, they're all hot, but come on, let's not forget about the other band members, during the time that Panic! was still a band law. Andy Hurley, Mikey Way, and John Walker. What do these three have in common? They're all quiet. Joe Trotman and Ray Toro. What do these two have in common? They're both guitarists with the hair. Spencer Smith. What's so special about him? Everything, he, in fact is the key to the ritual that the Amo Trinity performed. They needed the purest of the pure to birth their child. And how did they perform the ritual? Well, the three main ships have to frickle frackle in the same room with Spencer in the middle. The requirements needed to perform this ritual is a jacket, a fedora, a lock of Joe and Ray's hair, and most importantly, Andy Hurley, Mikey Way, and John Walker must be screaming simultaneously until the three main ships have finished. Spencer is the one to conceive the child. But the real question is, who is the offspring of the Amo Trinity? What is their gift they offered to us? The answer was with us all along. The child of the Amo Trinity is, Tyler Joseph. Josh Dunn isn't real so he was never born. 